Hi, this is Todd and today is Sunday, November 5th, 2017. We are in Wildwood, Sumter County, Florida. And I want to talk today about some techniques to locate the caterpillars of the Florida Viceroy, Limenidus archippus floridensis. Uh, the Florida Viceroy actually mimics the uh, Eastern Queen and not the Monarch. It's a little bit darker. And some tips to find caterpillars, they feed on Carolina Willow, Salix Carolina. And today we're going to talk about some tips of finding caterpillars. Um, I have found some eggs in here and there is a lot of willow here. So I'm walking along the road and I can guarantee you there's some caterpillars that can be found. But when you find large stands of willow, the productivity of finding viceroy caterpillars tends to drop because there's so much host plant that the females have to choose from. So what you want to do when you find a lot of host plant like this is try to find patches along the side of a highway or a side of a road where you have small stands of isolated willow, hopefully that are shorter, which will improve your productivity. So we're going to go to a different location and show how that works. Okay, we have ventured a little bit further west along Highway 44. Um, we are along the highway in a depression where there's natural accumulations of water here in the semi-gully and the willows are much more scarce here. But where there are isolated stands of willows, female viceroys have fewer targets to choose from. And so our productivity in finding eggs and caterpillars, uh, even hibernacula, will be a little bit more productive. So let's see how we do. Okay, so we walk up to this plant and right there is a rolled leaf hibernaculum florida viceroy so he's gone into hibernation right here and that that will not focus so i'll get a better still shot that would be an egg so whenever you're looking for viceroys or red spotted purples always focus first on the tip of the leaf the eggs are laid on the tip of the leaf and the caterpillars construct a conspicuous perch and actually uh, rest on that perch at first second and third instar there's Physiotes, female. Here we have a second instar. And he's, uh, I'll get a better still shot, sitting on his perch. Here we have a hibernaculum with a caterpillar that's backed out a little bit. When they build a hibernaculum, they do that at third instar when they hibernate. This. Hard to see, I apologize, this is a second instar. See the saddle? They measure, they measure day length to assess whether they go into diapause or not. Here we have a large fifth instar. Obviously when they get to be big fifth instars, they're no longer building perches. So I've looked on a lot of willows but one thing that helps is when you know that there's a population, try to focus on areas where there isn't a lot of host plant, creating a situation where the female viceroy has fewer options and you'll tend to be productive where you look uh, right there. Thanks.